Hey everybody, welcome back to the sawmill. You have to forgive me, I'm getting over a touch of the flu, I believe, or a, a bad cold, so I'm still dealing with a little bit of that. It's 42 degrees out here on February 22nd. Uh, nice day out here. We're finally gonna get back to some milling. We've got a good surprise here for everybody. We'll uh, take a look at it a little bit later on. We'll leave it as a surprise right now, but uh, I think you're gonna like it. Uh, it's been a while since we put out a milling video. We finally got done our our bar top editing and our videos for that. Uh, that was a fun project to work on. I'm just glad everybody's stopping back in to check this one out. Hey, let's get the mill uncovered and get the milling.
All right, folks, let's show you what we're milling here. I think you're going to like it. Got some beautiful box yarder with flame in there. Looking good. Wow. To me, this reminds me a lot like that ambrosia, ambrosia maple. Wow. A lot of the red flame in here. Take a good look at this. I don't think we even have to add water to this, folks. This is beautiful stuff right here. Wow. A lot of the red flame in here. A little bit of spalting down on the far end. A couple of knots in here. Wow. Nice stuff. Here you got a little bit of the spalting going on in here. A little bit of spalting down on that end. Nice stuff, for sure. This should only get better the deeper we go into this log. Let's hope so. And no guarantee when it comes to box out or just how much red you're going to have in it. So, but now you know what we're milling today, folks. We want to make some nine quarter slabs out of what we got here. The only problem is we've got a nice sweep to this log, and we're going to be dealing with uh, it's just a little too wide for the LT35. So. We're going to do the best we can with it, and we'll take you along. All right, let's get back to uh, milling some of this beautiful stuff. We'll take you out for a different shot each time, but we're going to have to do some special cutting and moving of the log to uh, get it through the mill. Okay, we got to have a little bit of insect damage here, but it's oxy time there. Still lots of red flame in this one. Beautiful stuff. We got this darker heartwood, lighter sapwood, nice brown, cream color, the red flame. Looking good. Liking what I'm seeing here. Blade still cutting pretty flat but I think I'm going to change it out get ourselves an even better cut
it over first and let it bag down on here. Ready? Yep. Wow. Look at this marbling in here between the like the cream and the brown colors. Even without the red, you got a lot of cool looking grain in here. That new blade made a nice difference. So a good flat cut now. Still have a good deal of flame along this edge. And we're getting it back over here. Wow. This stuff is amazing. Looking. You see this? Like this marbling in here? Wow, you know what? Let's try to get a little water on there. Wow. Again, you see that marbling coming up in here? Very unique. I like this spot here. Got a little smelting. Yeah. The red flame going on right at the corner. Even with this bug damage, which is starting to get less and less the deeper we go. And we're starting to pick up some crotch figure in here. Hopefully the bug damage doesn't take the crotch figure away. We do have one small crotch on this side. But uh, yeah, a little spalting in there with the, uh, the bug damage caused some spalting around it. Stabilize this with some epoxy and boom. Amazing. Wow. This is going to make some nice tabletops for sure. A couple of these book match together. A little bit of epoxy work. Boom. Man, love some big box elder logs like this. And a special thank you to CS Calb Tree Service. Owner operator Chris Calb. Thank you for these. These are beautiful. All right, let's get the saw on. Okay. okay, just so you know, the way we're able to, to cut this wide, you see how low the stops are. We are pushed out over the stops all the way down this log. That allows you to cut wider than if you just had to stop straight up you push it out you got the curvature of the log here that stops on the stop down here rather than up here it allows the log to move over this way further man but you can see how we got that on there now but what we're going to have to do and you'll see this when we start making the next cut so we're going to cut down to this point here this is sticking out too far but the sweep on this side comes in some. So what we can do is stop, push the log over, continue to cut, push the log back. Anything to keep this full, this full live edge. I mean, we already trimmed a tiny bit all of each side up there, but I wanna to try to keep as much of this as possible. Wow. <laughs> I only need a little bit more clearance there. The way you can do that, because the LT35 only runs hydraulics when it's down here. What we can do is run a jumper from there to the contact block. Now it allows us to run the hydraulics. I don't suggest you doing this. This is the way I do it. It's not for everybody, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. That'll allow me to open the clamp, slide it over a little bit. I can block it to hold it in place until I get past a certain point, then I'll let it come back over. And you'll see us do that. We're gonna be fumbling with it a little bit because we haven't done this just yet this is a first for us having to move it around like this but i've been thinking about how to get around these logs with a sweep and not have to trim a hump like this off this will allow us to leave the sweep in the log without these without the saw trimming and like always it's windy out here on the sawmill and as always we only have one camera so that's something i hope to change in the future but
Okay, I've run the saw head up as far as I can without hitting the log on the uh, the operator side of the saw, the saw head. I've left the clamp open. The log's heavy enough to hold itself in place. Now I'm going to nudge the, the log towards the loading arms. And that'll give me enough clearance on that inner blade guide roller to uh, get the saw head passed. I'll put a block in there to hold it in place so when I turn the saw blade on it doesn't pull the log back over. We'll go ahead and be able to finish the cut out the back of the log. Now I'll only have to do this for the next couple of cuts and then we'll either be done with the log or <laughs> uh, the log will get skinny enough towards the bottom that I no longer have to slide it from one side to the other to clear that nub. Okay, well, like I figured, wow. the crotch figure is is uh, not really going to appear because of the insect, the insect uh, work done here. So look at the spalting now. Maybe a little bit of spalting in there. Stabilize that up with some epoxy and boom. Nice. Flame's getting a little bit bigger. Set with some water. I've ever had the pleasure of cutting this stuff. It stinks for firewood. It's not good lumber that I'm aware of, but it makes beautiful slabs. Cool. I like that. Right in here. Beautiful. I wish we had a little more red flame, but well, we still have one more to go yet. Another box outer log, so hopefully we'll get some more in that one too. That's nice.
Very nice. All right, looks like we got two more cuts on this log and we're done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm liking this. Better from the house on here now, but that red flame starting to spread back across. Yeah, starting to get it down toward the middle again. Looks nice. Of these. This is about the widest one, other than the one we took off just just now. 23 inches here. This end where we trimmed it, 24. Very cool. Last splash. No, I do one more. I'm getting a shadow. Shadow. This, this has to be one of my favorites anymore. This is this log especially. I've cut box elder before, but it did not have this marbling in here. I mean, I was cutting it up for turny blanks for bowls, and it did not have this. That's beautiful. It had the red and it had the white, but not this other marbling in here. This stuff is awesome. One more cut, folks.
don't know. Uh, like I said, I've seen box elder before, but not like this. Even though it's not loaded with the red flame, the rest of this uh, marbling in here just makes up for it. That stuff is awesome looking. Just the slightest bit of curl out here. Why is my camera out of focus? Slightest bit of curl out here. From the crotch figure. That's nice. 